Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want it to move. Yeah, uh, I used to two two. Yeah. Here we go. The game starts. All right. Last game Akron of the day. Guys. And I think Akron is in possession of the ball here. Yes, there's natural. Akron right in away. blue, and uh, Budweiser in white. And immediately we're gonna see Akron going straight for the check basket. Uh, I think Akron here in here with the strongest six players they wanna score as quick as possible. Nice grip here on the neck of the goalkeeper, Mad Boy here trying to defend and actually trying to grapple the ball. And Bud was now in possession trying to get away. Uh, I think yeah. there was some call yeah, referee called here. Yeah, it was a was a holding of the head. Holding yeah. of the head against Akron and that now ball possession for Budweiss here. And we have uh, uh, Akara in the defense after their attack uh, against the uh, Budweiss uh, basket. And Budweiss uh, players are already established uh, their presence under the basket uh, yeah. of Akarin. But they uh, they check the, the situation. Now they get one player who goes in from above. There is uh, no Budweiss player under the basket waiting. and. Uh, the player from above was affected, deflected, the uh, ball was falling down, and yeah, uh, there was a... Current and it's called against... Choking. So uh, yeah, choking. Yeah. Oh, and the shoulder on the basket here heavily, but it was just in between the calls, so it's no problem there. And another attack from Budweiss. They came uh, very much from above, yeah. trying to drill above, from above into the defense, into the forechecking defense. Yeah. And now we have a current on the counter we attack. A quick fast break here by Karen trying to uh, close this. Is really nice pressure here by the current player who's forcing himself onto the forward. Very nice pass, but he couldn't. If he could have got hold of it, he was in a good position. But yet again, and the second one nice positioning <laughs> underneath the basket. I think he was holding there actually. Yeah. There were two players in a very good position from yeah. Akarin under the basket of Budweiss, but both of them didn't get a good hold of the ball. And it's Budweiss again. Quite a back and forth here in the first minutes of this first half. Game number 52, Champions Cup 2018 in Berlin. To be honest, you have to get used to the ball because it feels a bit bigger than uh, the balls we usually practice with. Okay, but interesting. It's and it's quite soft at the same time. Okay, so you have a good uh, grip on it. You can have a good one-handed grip. But it, it's it's unusual. Okay. Mm, so you you're not <laughs> sure if you're actually having a good grip at some at some point if you don't have the ball in possession. Interesting. Too many often. <coughs> yeah. Now we see Budweiss. They are usually trying to keep the ball in their own ranks, um, create um, an opportunity for them. Uh, in a corner and then come in from above, uh, try to pick up the goalkeeper and try to score. They waited for a chance and I think they tried to go uh, in from yeah. the close side or from above. Yeah. But uh, right in the moment, uh, the forechecking from Akarin uh, deflects them before they can get close enough to the basket. And so they stay at the close side, at the wall side, keeping the ball in their ranks, waiting yeah, for an opportunity. They're keeping it moving. They yeah. see, you see? And, and here's a defender from Budweiss yeah, under the basket. The defensive position, but he's, he's dropping it because the attacker couldn't get in fast enough. So what what was he is doing to try to tire out the attackers, um, drawing them in with yeah. quick passes, um, make them circle, and um, then do a quick to force attack. Two attackers at the same time to go for um, one of their players, uh, creating an overpower situation, and then going in with two to three guys at the same time. But uh, our current here knowing the strategy quite well, the defenders will just. Um, stick to the basket and in the last moment go out and help the four checkers uh, trying to retake the ball. This is more tiring for current here yeah. than it is uh, for yeah. for so Budweiss. Budweiss. That's actually a pretty good situation to be in. Yeah. And we are uh, f uh, s uh, f about six minutes, less than six minutes to go in the first half and Budweiss is in ball possession playing their game at the close side of the pool in the half of uh, Akaren and Akaren is running behind the ball and uh, here Budweiss, uh, like Thomas right uh, now said, is just waiting for the opportunity to tire out the four checkers and then go in into the defense of Akaren and start their attack. But uh, uh, until now, I d now is there's a chance yeah. and they go in, but uh, deflected by a four-checker right above the basket from Akarin. So, but what but is they really know their own strengths very well. So they know they are 
and then so no other teams rotating the ball usually they're good attacking the ball usually that's what they're trying to oh, prevent th now this is a counter attack what shouldn't happen for them but they regain possession of the ball well done well done quick pass here and they're going it's actually quite old school rugby to yes. see because that's yes. that's how people used to play for 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 a very long time yes Sting, stick in the stick to the corner let the ball circle but it's effective. Attackers. Yeah, it's an effective. Uh, and here they go. Uh, again, an attack from above. So, yeah. And there's a player on the open side. But, but the he defender, couldn't. The defender read the play and he, yes. he yes. went into motion. Ball is loose. Second break. That's a good chance. Really good chance and here for was uh, uh, almost a gap in the change. He, could, he couldn't have he could pass oh, another he attack. Passed Matt Boyer here, um, who's trying to from score. From the close side. He couldn't quite push Very the well defended by Karen. Well defended by Karen here, yeah. And we're again at and now uh, they're again at a fast break and trying to go into the, the, the half of the checks, but oh, now very from the middle and there's already a current, current player waiting position. under the basket and oops! Ooh, I think the goalkeeper's got it here. It's very well done by the goalkeeper yeah. in the last second. Well he saved it. Oh, but now good opportunity here. He should have passed it well immediately because the goal was half empty. This was very close to the to the still yeah. to the goal. Yeah. It was pretty much the same uh, situation the Turks had with uh, Malmö. Yeah. And yet again, the def defensive position is stolen here by an, a current player. Just laying and waiting. Three minutes and a half left here in this first half. A current yeah. in blue and uh, and Czech Republic in white. And even though a current is usually a uh, pretty good uh, offensive team here with some Norwegian national team players uh, on their side, like Hakan Boldaug or uh, Tante Kalilibik, I think. Um, Budweis knows uh, if they can keep the ball in their own ranks, they, they won't have a scoring opportunity. So that's that's basically their game plan, trying to keep the ball uh, for on your on your side of the oh the n a nice Apart pass from here. the open side to the open side. Is it, is it defended? Yeah, it's defended. Yes, here, it's tackled away to the surface, and the second oh. wave comes <laughs> in into the hands of a Budweis player. They were lucky there was a Budweis player, yeah. not an Akaran player, and a counter attack from Budweis. Two that it's a one-on-one one on one situation. That's he quite oh, he lost the ball uh, yeah, but actually in the movement. Honestly, I would call a holding on the basket from the goalkeeper here because he pulled himself onto the basket in the True. last... True. I mean, right if before the attacker. Right if, yeah. it's, if it's a uh, long enough time away before the attacker comes, yeah. usually yeah. As, a as a referee you give them the benefit of the doubt, but if it's right before an attack of the of your opponent, then it's gonna it's actually got to be a call by referees. Yeah. It's a two-minute penalty at least or a penalty here. And it was quite clearly visible. So I'm not sure why the rest didn't call it. Because he pretty much came in last moment. But we gotta be fair, it's also tiring for the referees to, to be... Um, Holy... Holy you can so imagine. Because uh, I'm breathing this air from the tanks all day long and concentrating on the water is, is just like, wow. A nice position here by one of the... by Matt Boyer here on this. Oh, he, he got the ball, but he doesn't have anybody underneath him. That's usually a position you, you don't want to give up. So if, if... Oh, no, it's the end of the first half. Interesting first oh, half. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, no. No, it's not. No, it's, not. It's, it's just a... But they gave the sign. But it's, uh, it's, it's a... It's a sh is it a shorter halftime break? Looks like. But it should it's be only two minutes. It should, it should be three minutes. It, it? Be, should be three. The regular is three. No, it's a free throw now. Ah, penalty time. Oh, okay. that's why. Huh, but for whom? Ah, time up right now. Uh, it might be Budweiser here. Because uh, I can't yeah, game. It's, it's on this side, yeah. So it's a uh, two minutes penalty time for Budweiser. And it will, com it will continue in the second to the second half if yeah. time should run out. So Budweiser now in a bit of trouble because Akron now uh, might be able to establish a strong push onto the goal of checks and we'll see if they can manage to hold out without two forwards yeah and we have to speak up uh, there's uh, um, comments here about the referees and we really have to speak up for the referees because yeah. the referees we have here are the top referees we have in the world and uh, it's a it's a long shift they have like it is for us commentators and uh, it's super tiring and i still think they do a pretty good job yeah. here uh, refereeing these uh, 
um, these games and staying in the water and they review themselves a lot mm. so after every day they sit together and talk about the games what went wrong what went good and uh, it's a good job they're doing and uh, have to give my respect it's uh, not, it's not to the referees fair, it's not an insult to the referees it's just uh, a situation that we actually can see here on the stream which we can no 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 not at all not from you comment on right away so oh no 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 um, and usually um, situations like this here, very good positioning by uh, number 11 of carrying, I think it's actually Tontag, uh, oh, ah no, it's Mario Bernes here. Um, but Budweiser is trying to get the ball away, oh, they could snatch the ball away here, and now trying to get away from the own goal, but Akaren back at it, back in, uh, in possession here. Again, Mario Bernes here uh, taking the defensive position, but he can't just get um, into the motion of pushing the goalkeeper up. It's a lot of, a uh, lot going on here yeah. around the basket. Akeren now, seizing the last 20 seconds, they, they really want to score, they want to have, you see the overpower Two, three players around the check basket. Oh, and now really good scoring opportunity here for Akeren, but he can't just get a quick grip here. Uh, well done by the defender to just tackle the ball away. Now seven seconds. And Patwas is in power possession. Yeah, three and two. Let the time run out. And it's a zero zero into okay, the no second half. Break. So yeah, as as we were saying before, it's not an insult to the referees. It's just that um, <laughs> if it, if there's a situation like a one v one situation with a fast break, we like we've seen here with Patwas, and um, basically um, you have to watch out for uh, on the one hand the attacker and on the one hand the one goalkeeper who is somehow trying to defend the goal, and as those are prime scoring opportunities you will get during a game um, especially uh, refs do spend especially uh, on those situations um, and they uh, they really should f or they're really focusing on those situations and y if you see like a hand coming down and try uh, pu pulling himself on himself onto the basket whilst the other one um, has the impact moment um, onto the goalkeeper um, it's I mean it's a tough call um, and Quite often, it's the timing might be a little bit in favor of the attacker, or a little bit in favor of the defender. But in general, um, if you see a foul there, you have to call it because. But in this case, uh, he could uh, call that uh, advantage and wait yeah. for the attack. But yes. the attacker lost the ball, so he should we could could have reacted. Yeah. But uh, like we say, and uh, we had the discussion. I had this discussion with uh, Bob, our referee from uh, Berlin. Uh, the thing is, uh, you have sometimes a different perspective in the movement, what you see, and also th with the equipment of the referees, you have uh, uh, the mask and everything, you have a different perspective on the game, yeah. and this this is uh, uh, based on the decisions of what you see. Yes. So criticizing uh, a referee because of the stream... He might not actually have been able to see it. No, exactly. He might have been at another angle, he might not yep. have seen the, the hands of the goalkeeper going down. Yep. We've seen it on stream and that's why we call it out because we want to provide yeah. the information that we actually get here yeah. uh, by seeing the, uh, yeah. um, the, the, the calls from far you away. You're a referee too? I have, yeah. Yeah, have yeah. so we, we, we know, um, we know the, the pressure of a referee. Exactly, yeah. uh, exactly. And the discussions afterwards yeah. uh, from, from people seeing the live stream. Why did you yeah. see it? Didn't you see it? Uh, did you see where I was when yeah. this happened? I couldn't see it. Yeah. So and sometimes you're focusing on another situation of the game, yep. like you're focusing the yep. ball, you're yep. focusing the... Yep. There might be some, some uh, stuff going on in the middle of the pool yep. while the ball is being yep. passed out. Yep. So it's really hard to see what the referee, referee actually was really focusing yep. at. But uh, in the end, uh, if there's a situation like this, uh, like we've discussed right now, um, at least one referee should have to focus uh, on, on the goal and uh, on the basket. Totally agree. Yeah. So before this uh, next uh, half starts, I uh, have a question. What do you see is, uh, think is most important for a live stream uh, in, in the overall setup and looking towards Graz and uh, what we do here, what the, what the Euro League um, does for you, Thomas? Um, for me, I mean, uh, streaming quality uh, on the one hand is really important and um, you have to keep the consi consistency of the stream. Stream going down is, is really bad for you. True. And um, then uh, the stream, the quality of the stream. So you want to have um, high resolution, because a lot of people are streaming on, on the television screen. So and uh, if the picture is getting um, really scrubbly, it's, it doesn't have a good feel to it. So that's very important to me. Um, it's really nice if you have someone who understands the technology, who is able to adapt uh, the li to lighting uh, in the poolside, because there's a lot of different lighting and a lot of different. That's true. Uh, 
even the wall setups like we had uh, at the Euroleague in Vienna, we have a very dark wall setup. Okay. So you have to adjust to it. Um, and then again, uh, if you have good commenting uh, on a stream, it's really nice to have somebody be uh, constantly actually commenting on the game, especially if uh, some people are watching who don't know the game exactly, very well. Yeah. Um, and the fast attack. That, that, that's the fast attack back to this uh, uh, really later. Really nice attack here, but um, the second player also Oof. at the basket, but Akron can clear here. That was now close. there's nobody in the defensive position, so Budweiser can actually take call oh, from the referee. It's against uh, Akron, and well done here by Matt to um, already the take, the spot. take the defensive spot. And now that's an important, if you see it as your, as your teammate, that one of your players is taking possession you and have to help the battles, you have to execute the yep. free throw as fast, fast as possible. Fast, yep. I always get angry if I go into position and I see them just uh, uh, slowing down. Yeah, 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 yeah they're not reacting. Yeah, yep. Not reacting to what you're doing. They're not, you should, even in this situation, anticipate what's going on on the wall yep. because the game is continuing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's not like a free throw, it's not everybody has to go up and... Um, I agree very much. And uh, uh, wait. Uh, the game underwater is continuing. So, so now I go in here back uh, in half of Budweiser. I must say I'm actually quite impressed here by the Czech champion that they are actually tr pushing um, Akron to the limit here. Yes. Rather, yes. rather effectively. Um, uh, beforehand, I would have said that Akron should be the favorite team in my point of view. But Akarin had uh, two heavy games today. Yeah. It was one against uh, Turkey and one against uh, the Colombians uh, against okay, Orcas. Yeah. So the, the little stamina might actually out. have taken some toll here. Could, yeah. be, could be the reason here. But then again, Bud was here doing a really good job. I mean, yep. they, they know the game plan. The yeah. So oh, okay. So Information from Lisa here. Uh, the Czech uh, uh, team from Budweiser uh, had already the game against uh, Rixu and uh, um, from them Flipper. So, so they're both worn <laughs> out. Both on the top okay. schedule here, to be fair. It's, it's, uh, mean, there it's, there it's a draw. <laughs> there is no real um, easy way if you're on the bracket uh, and you have cross games and if True. you want to go up to the finals. You might have one or two easier games during the group phase. But at some point, you're going to face at least equal opponents. Um, and quite often in the cross games, you will face an opponent that's approximately one, one level above you. Yeah. And we have a cluster on the surface. Um, cannot see who's breaking. There is an current player breaking out of it. Uh, he has the ball free, passing to his teammate. Uh, and down to the other one, already under attack from uh, Budweiser, all very close to the surface and close to the out of the playing area. Yeah, ball was out. And it's against Budweiser here. Yep. Quite funny actually, because um, Budweiser could, oh, he took away the position on the basket. Budweiser could go for a penalty shoot here. They practice it quite a lot actually. So the checks are quite proficient at penalty shootouts. Okay. But not to underestimate Akron here in the same. Okay. Well, Akron it's six and a half minutes left. Akron now taking away the basket twice in a row, actually swapping with the defender. Oh, and now no play, no defender underneath the basket, but I think a Czech player has got possession of the ball and is trying to get out, but Akron putting good, applying good pressure here, trying to force them back into their own half. Uh, still be on the defense, only having the two forwards trying to carry the ball out into the other half. And yeah, there the ball back in possession for Akaren. And usually those are the prime opportunities where you can go for the basket. If the two forwards are trying to carry the ball out into the opponent's half and you have defender and, and goalkeeper on the, on the basket, take one breath, go down with two other players and seize the overpower, uh, yes. overpower events. Over very good scoring opportunity here if you can get underneath the goalkeeper. Oh, here oh comes a nice uh, player from the open yeah, side. Yeah, that's a goal. Yeah. yeah, Very well, very nice done. Very and you well see well the Czech player is not yeah. happy on the surface because they were fighting, working hard to, yeah. to keep a, a, a car in the way. Uh, and it always depends also when uh, when do the people change out of the water and uh, back again. Yeah. 
So timing, at some point, timing uh, is becoming very, oh yeah. very crucial. It's um, very crucial on the water If you have two defenders uh, exchanging at the same point in time, for some reason, uh, you're going to be in big, big trouble. Yeah. Uh, and so call from the referee above. Okay. Free throw against Akaren. I uh, know, I think it's both players back to the side. I uh, know, it's time it's a timeout, uh, time probably out from yeah. uh, Budweiser. No, it's timeout, no. it's timeout Akaren. Ah, it's set there. Wow, we have a crazy display there. And it's 10-12 uh, already. So we are, uh, yeah, not that much over time. It's going to be interesting to see if the Czech team can uh, equalize here against Akron. They had some scoring opportunities. Akron also a bit like Leicester in the defense. But it's it's always easier if you uh, lead yes. and just have to close and you don't have to go out. You don't have to risk anything anymore. Yeah. But uh, it's five minutes to go, so everything can happen. Everything is possible here. And uh, Budweiser knows this, and they really have to go in now, because if they don't do nothing, yeah. they lose this game, and they have to risk something, because they cannot. It, nothing worse can happen than losing this game. So if they lose it 2-0 yeah. or 1-0, it doesn't Senna matter. Senna, our coach always says, it doesn't matter if you lose it 2-0, 3-0, 5-0, 10-0. Exactly. Throw everything forward you yeah. have. If you can, if you get the opportunity to equalize, yeah. you, you, you'd want to try it. Oh, that's a uh, hold to the head. Not called. Yeah, there's Cuba, but he doesn't stay in, pos in position here. And Akaren here trying to force the players away into the side. But Bob is actually staying in possession of the ball here. Four and a half minutes to go. Time is working for uh, Karin here. And uh, if they can get hold of the ball, uh, they can oh use uh, the time fast in their favor. For, for but easily stopped by one uh, uh, Budweiser player in the middle. Very nice stopped by pushing the ball out of the hands. No, Call from the referee. Ball. It's a free it's throw against, against Budweiser. Less than three, then four minutes left. And here we go, there's an attack from uh, Akaden. Oh, nice pass and there's there into the corner, uh, right. the close side, at the wall. Very strong pass by the attacker uh, into the corner here, and the Akaden Blake just couldn't quite execute the, the last uh, motion here, and now Butter is trying to fast break, but having trouble getting more than one player uh, into the other half fast enough and now the ball just drops down. But and Akaren is already in defense. Yeah, now um, long player is going down to the back. Oh, he's actually got the defensive position. Now one player should go behind that and um, they try to get the ball somehow in there into a scoring position. But Akaren very well defending here with the four checking, um, doing a really good job to block those check players away from the basket. and force them into scrums um, oh, that's oh, a referee. two minute 40 left holding by Budweiser and it's that's gonna another be with these uh, free throws against Budweiser it's gonna be hard for them to yeah. uh, to break t because they have to work hard to get into the half of yeah. a car Akaren before they can start them yes so oh that's a nice attack without a uh, defender being there so Budweiser was, an was anticipating to um, try to regain possession in the middle of the pool but Akron this is how you should execute a free throw like yeah. uh, going really fast for the for the opponent's basket yeah and executing it fast the free yep. throw was executed very fast yep. before Bottas was being able to position themselves yep. properly two players underneath the, the ball carrier on the surface and just pass it down to Ooh. The, uh, oh the goalkeeper that's it and now they have to they, they, they misjudged they misjudged and yeah. uh, got uh, uh, out from the basket, but this is what we talked about. If you have a chance to counter, uh, to do a fast break and counter yeah, attack, you, you have to. Otherwise, if you wait on the basket, you will not be able to participate. Yeah. So it, it was a chance they had to use. And this is a 2-0 now for Akaren against uh, Budweiser. And we have only one and a half minutes left here in the second half of game 52 of the Champions Cup, uh, number 30 in Berlin. 
so it's hard for Budweiser, uh, almost impossible for them to turn it around. Something really weird must happen if uh, yeah, they, they can turn around this game. Yeah, very quick scores now, and I think it's jump with just one minute on the clock, clock running down, whilst um, the players win back to their own sides. It's nearly impossible. Now Akaren already back in possession of the ball. They will just try to keep the ball in their own ranks now. Yeah. Trying to swim to the middle, some are, are, are scrum on the surface. I mean, they have the strength to do so. Yeah, whatever they do, it's in their favor. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they are yeah. all the ball. Yeah, there's free throw against Akaran, so there's uh, a chance again. You have, you, if you're put to us, you really have to execute it very, very quickly here. Yeah. If you At score, least to score once. Yeah. But I think with 40 seconds on the clock, it's uh. really. No, nah, there's, there's basically no chance there for put us to us now. And the clock is still ticking down. Yeah, it's uh, for half a minute well, so less so than half a minute. Yeah, well played by both teams. Well played both teams. Yes, uh, Akaren just seized their opportunities when they got them. It was close for them as well, one or two times. Yeah. Okay, it's against Akaren once now, and there were 30 seconds running down just by decisioning between the referees. One penalty for each side here. Uh, one free throw for each side here. And now the clock is ticking out, and the game is done. Akaran here now going for place uh, five and six against Malmö Triton, whilst uh, Budweiser from Czech Republic are going again against Turkey tomorrow. Uh, I think it's, no, it's, it's quite similar to last year, actually. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, true. I think it was the same uh, competition. Combination, yeah. So, uh, first game uh, for tomorrow will be at 8. It will be uh, the Fetties from Singapore Mail against uh, the Swiss team from Zurich at 8 o'clock. And the, the game after that will be Firenze against uh, Black Mermaids and Females at 8.30. So, that was a long day. Yep. Do you feel it? And you played today, uh, yes. Thomas. So we, we, we glad we only we had three matches yesterday, so we only had one today. Okay, that's um, so doable. It was okay. Still, you have to recover. <laughs> Still, we have to recover. Yes, but we got dinner in, so okay, it worked out. I'd, I'd say very nice. Yeah, but so now it's time to go to bed. Thank you very much, Thomas, well, for uh, doing you for our first. Yes. Yeah, well, first commentating here with uh, with us. Looking forward to Kratz. Uh, will we have time uh, for tomorrow to uh, do a little bit of commentating, or uh, is possibly it after the match? Yes, we are playing at 10:30, if I'm correct, against uh, Wales, New South okay. Wales. I think. Yeah, who won? Boston Wales. Okay. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I have okay. no idea. We've yeah. gonna play against the winner f between Boston and uh, New South Wales, and then afterwards I might be back here in the commentator booth, having some shoutouts here, maybe around with Thorsten, and we'll see who will win, <laughs> who's gonna be talking the other one down <laughs> faster. <laughs> <laughs> we should establish rules for that. <laughs> okay, so um, nice for evening, everybody. Yep. Thanks for watching. We had uh, at least uh, 160 uh, visitors uh, in the live stream here for the last game. Have a good night. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock here at the Champions Cup 30 in Berlin. Uh, good night. Sleep tight. See you tomorrow. See you.